It's hard to know what to say in times like these. Losing people who matter to us is never easy. But it becomes a little strange and complicated when it's someone you only knew parasocially. Someone that you loved not from the moments you shared with one another, nor the time spent existing in the same space as them, but rather the affection you have for them coming from an appreciation for the art and the things that they made. It's a strange thing that someone you never met can move you, fill your life with inspiration, motivate you to push yourself beyond your limits, whether that be physically in the gym, pursuing your own dreams and passions, or simply overcoming the challenges that life throws at you. It's a funny thing how someone can matter to us in that way, and yet, to say that Akira Toriyama leaves behind a legacy that will be cherished and reflected on lovingly for generations to come is nonetheless true. Whole generations have grown up looking up to him and the characters that he breathed into existence. Whether it was you as a child pointing your hands towards the TV screen to help Goku create his super spirit bomb, or playing as the hero and sharing a touching moment with Serena as she processed the grief of her sister's sacrifice. Millions of us have shared in the joy, tears, adventure, and the absolute hype that serves as the legacy of the legendary Akira Toriyama. An important part of that legacy is one that I think another giant of storytelling, Kentaro Miura, bestowed upon us as well. It's a theme prevalent in their works and the stories they inspired in others. It's what I call the art of never giving up. It's a theme we see all over anime. The shonen genre loves it. From Black Clover, Demon Slayer, One Piece, my personal favorite Naruto. It's something well established in Toriyama's work, Kentaro's as well. Although, his can feel a little less hopeful at times. What they spent their lives conveying to us is that life can be really tough sometimes. We are going to face obstacles, and those challenges are going to feel overwhelming and unrelenting. At times, we pick ourselves back up just to be knocked right back down. But what Toriyama mastered was inspiring us to push through once more. He encouraged generations to be more than what they thought they could be to constantly strive for the Super Saiyan version of their own lives. He made us laugh and cry, made us feel as though there was nothing we couldn't achieve. What he and Kentaro left us with is the constant reminder to endure in the face of overwhelming odds. Because no matter how helpless you feel right now, you can and will overcome. They demanded we keep striving for that brighter future, and they lived it. Something that brought me comfort learning more about Toriyama's life is he didn't always have it figured out. Growing up, he would wax and wane in his passion for drawing, getting sidetracked by life, whether that be friends, TV, hanging out, just other interests, things that are a natural part of life. Even as he entered the workforce initially, he struggled adapting to working life. He got in trouble, he couldn't maintain his position there, and inevitably ended up quitting. And even when he committed to creating manga eventually, his first published story, Wonder Island, bombed fantastically, and he almost gave up. But when his second attempt failed once again, instead of throwing in the towel, he resolved himself to improve and do better, to succeed in spite of those failures, because that's all any of us can do. We live and strive and fall and get up to do it all over again, and we hold on to our inspirations. Because it doesn't matter how cheesy anyone thinks it is, the things you love can inspire you when you need them the most, so hold on to them. There was a point in my life I was so close to giving up. And about that time is when I discovered Naruto. 
the themes, the lessons it taught me, the moments I shared with it, inspired me to hope again. Lessons Kishimoto himself found inspiration from in legends like Toriyama. Life is really hard, but we come together in our shared enjoyment in the triumphs of our favorite characters. Hell, the epic moments this man brought to life reduced cartel activity. As people from all over the world tuned in to see how Goku would overcome once more. For all his life, Toriyama overcame and told us to do the same. And right now it hurts losing someone so formative to so many of us. But like Kentaro and Berserk, the end was never the point. The point was to make something of all the hell life has put us through. And as we all grieve and reflect on what we've lost, I hope we can also smile and enjoy the good times we all shared as a direct result of their work. Feel free to share your favorite moments from Dragon Ball or other Toriyama stories, or even just stories about him that you enjoyed in the comments. I'd love to read them. And as we move forward, let's honor him by continuing to push beyond our limits and never allow the dark in this world to hold us back from seeking the best version of ourselves. I'm that hero Fury, and I just want to say thank you for all you did Toriyama. Rest easy, and we love you.